Hi, everybody. Welcome to YouTube, Daryl's Shops. I've been hitting the Goodwill outlet bins um, pretty frequently. My husband's been out of town. <laughs> so he doesn't need to know the full extent of my addiction. <laughs> so um, I've been playing around with some makeup. Um, I found, you know, my roasting hot ring lights, which will have me running for some a breeze in about three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> um, they they do a pretty good job of of hiding. I don't want to say hiding <laughs> because nothing can hide them, but they smooth my my wrinkles. I know you've seen other videos where you can definitely see how many wrinkles I have. I have a lot of them. I'm old, <laughs> um, but the ring lights kind of smooth that out a little bit. But in in the midst of doing that, they also smooth out my makeup and my eyebrows and wash everything else out. So I'm kind of um, messing around a little bit with some stuff and with um, cool tones and warm tones. And so I'm gonna change this one. Well, that didn't do anything. There, that's the warm tone. Now both of them are on warm tones. And I think I'll record like this for a while and see what it looks like. So I have to apologize for the mess behind me. Actually, it's two different, um, bin halls. So that's the the oldest one and I I yeah and then this is the one I'm doing today. So I just needed to have this dress for no reason. <laughs> it's obviously a dupe. But here is a the actual Fendi logo. But hey, a girl needs a Fendi logo dress. Um, specifically a real one, but. <laughs> Isn't this beautiful? This is all over sequins. This is from Mango. I was really happy uh, to find this one and to see that it fits. It needs to be ironed, but the dress is from Fry. You know, the, the maker of the boots, well, they make really cute clothes too. But you can cinch the, the arms up if you want. And uh, I think I like them down a little bit. I wonder how far down they'll go. Mm. See what that looks like. I think I like that better. You know, I like a flirty, swirly dress. Okay, hi again. So this is new at Tags. And this is um, Ralph Lauren, Lauren Ralph Lauren. Has a $178 price tag on it. And I always like this style. Um, I think it gives me a few curves. <laughs> For, for a body that has none. <laughs> and of course the plunging neckline, always like that. And I've paired them up with these cute shoes, which I guess we're not gonna get far enough back to see them. This dress doesn't have a label in it and it's a ribbed, um, fabrication and I'm trying to get back so you don't have so there's a little bit of lightness behind me so you can see it's obviously a bodycon fit which incidentally I probably would never ever wear this out anywhere <laughs> maybe on a cruise um, but this is way more revealing that than the stuff I wear in my real life. <laughs> but I like this, and let me show you uh, what it looks like with this cool sweater. Boy, I'm gonna regret putting this sweater on, I tell you. <laughs> this is from Uniqlo, and it's brand new. Uh, I don't think it's ever been worn. And probably the beginning of summer is not gonna be the best time to wear it, but um, cute, it, it uh, wraps around so 
I'll put this away and uh, and then remember it in the fall. And go, oh my gosh! <laughs> so this really pretty dress. This is from a brand called Papillon, and um, it's supposed to. You can tie it in the front or you can tie it in the back. Um, it's vintage, and um, but I think really a white slip dress is always beautiful. Well, and you know it has three layers of fabric going on here. So, and what I really like, you know, it's a size medium, and it is the perfect fit here through here, which a lot of times things are not for me. So, because uh, I'm tall and I have a long torso. Okay, <laughs> I am not really sure about this dress. I, I think intrinsically it is not very flattering on me. I think it probably could be, um, but it just is, the way that it's cut just seems to be so up and down. It, it, if it had maybe more, a little more fabric, um, then I wouldn't feel like it, I don't know. I think it looks like I'm just poured into it when really I'm not. It's a quite generous cut. So I don't know. Don't know what to tell you. So this top is cute. I wish it were a size smaller. Um, it's a little large through here. Um, I've started believing my own advice and that is to not go up a size on a shirt because it's not gonna fit you through the shoulders. And to me, it just makes you look, makes you look bigger than you are. And so, um, and since I carry a lot of my weight and, and you know, every, through my shoulders, um, that I don't need, <laughs> I don't need any extra extra. <laughs> so, um, you know, if I pull this in, I like it a little bit better. It is super cute. Um, it actually has no, it plunges all the way down to here, which I wasn't quite ready to do. <laughs> and, but let me show you the back of this. It's just fantastic. So, <laughs> I hope you can see that. And these are jeans that I got from my husband, but I think I'm gonna keep them for me. They're rag and bone and you know they're big they're giant when you were they're giant when you but i like how loose i like how baggy they are and they're kind of low rise so <laughs> kind of like them <laughs> sorry honey so this is super cute you know what when i it's american eagle and when i put it on um the first time i was like oh brother um because it looks very juvenile uh if you wear it as a dress but with the jeans, I just think it's super cute. It's like, I could do this. And it, plus, I get this, and I don't have to worry about anything. So this is a bodysuit. This is from Wilfred. And I'm gonna say, I don't think by itself it does me any great favors. I just look straight up and down. Um, the thing I don't get about Wilfred bodysuits either is why they don't put a snap um, at the bottom of them. I don't really understand. Uh, it makes them very dysfunctional in my opinion. I mean, you know, you have to sure plan your activity is <laughs> should you have to whip it off in a second. But anyway, let's try it with this. This is from a brand called Cameo. And I think it's just a, a fun piece. I don't think it was particularly expensive or, or anything, but it's just this cute cocoon shape and with the sheerness to it. I like floaty things, can you tell? <laughs> so anyway, it covers this up, covers up the the uh, the fact that there's no waist underneath there <laughs> and i think it would look cute with a lot of other things as well so it's all good this is going to push me over the edge heat wise <laughs> this is from uniglow 
And I think this is a jacket, although, I mean, it's such a thin um, down fabrication that you could, it's packable uh, down, that you could wear it as a shirt just about. It'd probably be great for a, a vacation where you just need a little bit of a, um, something if you're, you know, gonna get cool in the evening. So we're gonna see if this helps at all. As you may see, we have a different background now. Um, I'm down in my basement where it's about 10 degrees cooler. <laughs> so let's see if that helps anything. Um, my gosh, it was just getting so warm. And then um, my ring lights turned off because the um, they were getting too hot too. So not just me. <laughs> So I got a lot of, um, a lot more sweatpants and a lot more, um, sweatshirts. Like I really don't need, but these pants are from Pact and they are one of my favorite brands of, um, uh, eco sustainable, um, cotton, uh, brands. I just like all of their stuff. Um, and then this top, this sweatshirt here is from Madewell. Isn't that nice? And look, it just goes so good with my Wilfred bodysuit. <laughs> so this turned out a lot better than I thought it would. Um, the blouse is a tiny bit too small, but I don't care. I love this brand. It's uh, called C-S-E-A. Now I didn't tie it up in the back, but you can see all the fun little stuff going on here, right? Um, it's a size four. <laughs> I could have used a six or an eight, <laughs> but that's all right. And then look at these linen pants. And yeah, they look just like plain old linen pants, don't they? Well, the deal is the brand is Eskandar and um, they are a couple hundred dollars for this brand. So um, I'm looking like my face is getting all washed out again. Maybe I need to go reapply. Someone wants to give me some makeup tips for doing this. I'd sure appreciate it. Look at this too. I'm just one big. I'm very dewy. <laughs> okay, so I did forget to mention too that I have way more pants than I do shirts. And so I think you'll be see seeing a lot of this. This is from Wilfred Free. And of course it's this t-shirt silhouette that I love. I, it's my go-to. And these pants are a linen blend and they are from Dip, which I think is Target. I love the color them up a bit maybe <laughs> and then my shoes I don't know if you can see these um, I'll have to locate what the name of them is but anyway I've owned another pair of them and uh, you may put these on with one of my other outfits these are from uh, Ilse Jacobson and they're in a, again a pretty premium shoe and these are just super cute. These are from Pacific Reef and really comfy. Okay, I got this because I recognized it says Wacol blouse. And so Wacol does really amazing women's lingerie. Well, I sure don't know what a size, I think that's a 13. I don't know what that is, but it must be a children's size. <laughs> and, um, these were uh, cargo tensile cargo pants from Banana Republic that didn't work. Okay, so this is another sweatshirt, and um, I'm gonna have to double check what the the uh, label is on on it. But I really like this kind of uh, concave contoured hemline. I think it's cute. And then these um, sweatpants are from H&M. And I thought they were white, but they're not. They're light blue. And so I don't think they're too amazing with this sweatshirt, but I'm sure that I can find things for them to go with. These, um, I like how slouchy and baggy they are. I really like that in my sweatpants. <laughs> okay, so... 
I love this. This is just, uh, it's a, uh, it's from the brand uh, Def Leppard. And so it's not vintage or anything, but um, I love it. It's nice and all worn in. And uh, these pants are just a nice, easy, um, stretch pant that I think are a little more updated from a legging. Um, I don't know if I can get far enough back here to show you the fit on them, but these are from GNW, which is not a pricey brand. Well, I messed up some videos, so now I'm gonna have to go back and see how far I messed them up. Okay, so this is a t-shirt, my favorite made well, and it actually goes good with the light blue. <laughs> Wets. And I've got them paired up with the Ilse Jacobson um, leather shoes. So this is a summer knit uh, from Nordstrom Collection brand. You can see here, oops, kind of see-through. <laughs> and I've got them paired with the dip. Uh, cropped linen pants and then the um, Pacific Reef flip-flops. So I had to grab this sweatshirt, this uh, t-shirt here, um, because I'm actually going to go there in August. So I thought, well, I might as well be one up on the... <laughs> Um, and then these sweatpants are from John Gotti, and I just love this pale green color. And I'm going to show them to you with this awesome sweatshirt. Okay, so you see we've moved to getting the hair off of the face. I look like I just got out of the shower. I'm so warm. Um, let me scoot this up just a bit. There we go. Now, I'm going to show you this cute sweatshirt. It's got skateboarding skeletons on it. <laughs> yeah, this is from Project Social T. Yeah. Anyway, and I just think it'd be just cute with just wrapped around like this. I would I wouldn't wear it all um, together, but I do like it like this. <laughs> Okay, so I told you I goofed up my video, and so sometimes I get going the wrong direction. And so, as I mentioned before, um, I record me taking off my clothes and don't record me putting them on. <laughs> so, here we go again. Uh, this is a t-shirt from Outpost, and it's too big. It's, it's not, it just is neither here nor there. And this one I want to run some comps on. I am not familiar with the brand. These are Lululemon dance pants and then either a two or a four. These I will put away um, for fall. These are boot cut, beautiful, very thick, stretchy velvet um, pants from Bade Brand. Now I love these. But these, I think, are a size small. These are the Free People camis. And I got three of them. So they'll go to the thrift shop. And this will go to the thrift shop as well. This is from Eileen Fisher. And it's just beautiful. It's silk, long dress, um, midi length. It's a size 2X, so it'll be awesome for somebody. I'm also hoping in my video mess up that there aren't portions of this that are in slow-mo. Slow-mo. <laughs> I hope not. That one really annoys me. <laughs> okay. Now, I don't know if this is really a vintage t-shirt or if it's a replica one. Um, but it's Slayer, and it's 1986. My guess is that it's a replica. And you're going to get about three seconds of me looking that I'm going to step back and show you. 
these DKNY shorts because <laughs> they're really cheeky. <laughs> I love this shirt. I it's I almost didn't grab it because it's from Loft, and um, but it's just the right. I don't know. It's bright. It's easy, it's comfortable, and it's a good fit. I, you know, as I talk about through here, it's a nice fit. Uh, not too big, not too small. So I'm kind of liking this. It's vintage. It's from um, DKNY for um, uh, Barney's. And uh, as you can see, it's silk. And um, I can think of lots of ways that it would look pretty good. So, um, not saying that the short the shorts are <laughs> one of them, but I think with like white linen pants and um, just something else that's kind of equally breezy, I would want to wear something that was um, maybe a little fuller because I don't want to look like an ice cream cone. You know, so if you're wearing something tight on the bottom of something that's big and oversized like this, I don't like it. So I'd rather do a half tuck into something else that has some volume. And um, although I have to say these shorts are kind of okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this dress. This is from a brand called Cake and Roses. And it has this ruffle plunging neckline. And the ruffle goes all the way down to the bottom of the hem here with this slit in the leg. And um, I see that someone has provided a pin <laughs> right here, which is rather nice. <laughs> so this is a dress by Love Stitch. And I have this already in um, a couple of, in a different color. And um, you see it at Nordstrom Rack all the time. Um, and if you look online, you'll find, you'll see it there. But it's just a great vacation piece because it works well over a swimsuit, but it's good for going out in the daytime. Um, and then you can dress it up for evening as well. So, um, pretty good piece to, to take and, and do triple duty. <laughs> okay, I don't really know quite what the purpose of this piece is. This is from North Face and it's um, a jumpsuit. And um, I think it's a good fit, but I just don't quite, I don't know. Are you supposed to get it wet? Is, is it, what, what is it? It's stretchy. And um, I don't know, I got to tell you, when it's hot outside, it's harder than heck to get into. And I can guess that it's going to be just as hard to get out of. <laughs> so I'm going to delay that for a minute. Another piece that I want to show you, this is from Tahari and it's a cashmere sweater and I am not going to put it on. <laughs> And these um, I did do and recorded, but I messed it up. So these are champion sweats, pretty cute. And I think I got everything. I hope I did. Um, boy, this was just a discombobulated video and here I was trying so hard. <laughs> so we'll see how it all comes together. And um, I appreciate you watching and um, l let me know if there's things that you'd like me to, um, to do as far as shopping goes or as far as the bins go um, and subscribe if you might and, um, and uh, say hello, okay? Appreciate you guys, bye.